What's going on guys? So today's video isn't really gonna be on any specific topic. It's gonna be more of a generalization. So forgive me if this video comes off as a little bit rambly. What I want to talk about is the differences between a window manager and a desktop environment. So I'm here inside of my Gen 2 box, which has been pretty popular on the channel lately. And one thing that I really like about this Gen 2 box is that it doesn't have a desktop environment. It only has a window manager. Now, you may be wondering what a window manager is, and it is exactly what its name implies. It is a program that manages your windows and nothing else. So the window manager that I'm currently using is DWM, the Dynamic Window Manager. And DWM is basically everything that you're seeing here. It actually does include uh, this status bar, not this part here where I have the icons and the time. That's actually another program called SL Status. But DWM is just these windows plus the whole bar up here. Now, why on earth would somebody bother with using something like a window manager? Well, for me, the reason that I prefer to use a window manager like DWM, well, there's actually several reasons. One of the reasons is it allows my system to have a much smaller footprint than if I was to load literally any desktop environment onto the system. Like you can see here, my memory that printed from NeoFetch is only 46 megs of RAM. And I don't think I've seen any desktop environments, um, not even XFCE, where even the entire environment itself could load in less than 46 megs of RAM. And keep in mind that 46 megs isn't even DWM, it's DWM plus OpenRC plus Bash plus SL status. You know, it's every single thing that you are seeing here. So that's one reason I prefer to use window managers. The other reason is, when we have a desktop environment, like I've got Kubuntu open here. So many people think that your desktop environment is just the layout, and that's not entirely true. So this right here is not KDE. What this is, is this is the K window manager or the KDE window manager. So, a desktop environment contains a window manager, that's part of it. But there's more to a desktop environment than just that. So the other part of KDE is all of these programs that you're seeing over here. So like you have Kate, which is the text editor. You have um, you know, console, which is your terminal emulator. You've got all of these additional applications that come with your desktop environment. Now, in the Gen 2 box, I don't have Kate, I don't have KSysGuard, I don't have Console, I don't have any of those programs because personally, I don't really like any of those programs from KDE. The only programs that I actually like with KDE is the K window manager, the KDE window manager, because it's very similar to Windows, the whole look and the aesthetic, and I have a little bit of nostalgia from it for that reason, and Dolphin, the file manager. So for someone like me to install KDE, yes, I would be getting a nice window manager, and yes, I would be getting a nice file manager, but I would also be getting a whole lot of other programs that I simply do not want to use. So if I was going to be going for a minimal install like my Gentoo box, but I decided to use you know, KDE instead of DWM, what I would have to do is install the KDE desktop environment, and then I would have to uninstall all of the bloat that comes with it. 
So this is the reason why I prefer something more like this. It's also much easier to just mix and match. Like um, I do have a file manager on here. I'm using PC Man FM as the file manager. Again, another very minimal program, but you don't even necessarily need a file manager a lot of the time. Like you could get away with just using Bash. And for a lot of people, especially like the command line wizard people, um, just using Bash to manage your files would be more than good enough. Uh, the final reason too, that I prefer to use a window manager over a um, desktop environment. And this isn't true for all window managers. This is only true for the tiling window managers like DWM and I think i3 is also tiling, is I just like how it automatically puts the, um, the windows into a split screen and it just uses the real estate a little bit better because even in a regular desktop environment, um, anytime that I'm using the windows, I don't just have them spawn well, it did it automatically in KDE, but a lot of the time your windows by default will just sort of spawn like this, where they're just kind of off floating in space. And then, you know, another one like this time, it just came up over here like this. And I don't know about you guys, but I really prefer my windows to just split the screen half and half. So if I was to be programming, for example, I'd want my console to be open over here and I'd probably want to have Vim running and I'd probably would want an actual terminal to be open over here. Or if it's something that I need to be online and, you know, read documentation for, then I'd probably want Firefox to be over here. And then I would want, let's see, I got to do all this stuff manually because I haven't created any shortcuts yet for snapping windows. Um, there we go. So I might have it like this where, you know, I got Vim, I've got my command line, and then I've got a Firefox open over here to the side. But to do this with a desktop environment, you either have to configure shortcuts for snapping everything the appropriate way, or you have to just manually drag everything into its space like you saw me just do. And that wastes a bunch of time. <laughs> That's obviously longer than just coming over here and I can just spawn two windows, they're automatically split. I can spawn a third one and it automatically splits it exactly the way that I want it to be. And like I said, it does all of this while only consuming a few megabytes of RAM as opposed to hundreds of megabytes of RAM. So that's why I prefer to use tiling window managers.